everybody, Crystal Player 101 here. Welcome back to my channel. We have another toy review today, and this time it will be the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, this figure was released in mid 2015 as part of the Jurassic World toy movie line. He has a general release, and depending on where you pick him up, he re he retails anywhere from $14.99 to $19.99. Now we have the Jurassic World logo right up here. The name of the figure states that he has chomping jaws. Rather cool product shot of the figure. And of course, this is a open display, so you can openly touch the figure itself. Jurassic World logo on this side of the box. Reverse side, rather cool looking shot of the of T-Rex the itself. Along the way it's painted, it looks really good. And right up here it reads, Tyrannosaurus Rex, the earth shakes with a menacing rumble. Hold your breath and whatever you do, don't move. The powerful T-Rex is back. And this side of the packaging, Jurassic World logo, Chomping Jaws, another product shot, name of the figure. Does state that you have to put the tail in as it's a separate piece. It also advertises a few other dinos that are available, including the Indominus Rex and Velociraptors Charlie, Delta, and Echo. This looks like it'll be a rather cool looking dino, so let's go ahead and pause this real quick. And now let's get a look at this bad boy. Now upon fooling with this T-Rex, um, I have a few pros, I have a few cons about this. Uh, let me go ahead and get the negative out of the way. Which is, um, this does have some very basic articulation. The only articulation really is the base of the legs and the base of the front arms. They're all on swivels. And on top of that, the jaw does go up and down. At least the jaw does go up and down. Other than that, the rest of it is static. It fits in place. Another problem I have is this is really the only position I can really have it in um, without it tilting over. Um, if I had to give another complaint, uh, for me, the color scheme is a little bland. That's just my personal little complaint, is the color scheme is just a little bland. Because the color scheme, as such, is, for the most part, overall, it's tan. With the only exceptions being around the skull, around the eye area, up through here, some striping through here. Striping right along the front of each nostril. And basically the same striping on the other side of the skull. Oh, and also the black they did for the claws right down here. Aside from that, only other paint apps really done are to the inside of the jaw, the inside lower jaw, the roof, and the tongue are done up in a almost like a purplish kind of pink, and the teeth done up in a, like an off-white. And before I forget, they actually did paint the eyes. Now it does sport the Jurassic World logo on the right leg, like the standard Jurassic Park toy. Now as far as the good I can say about this fig about this uh, particular figure, um, for the $15 I paid for this, like I said, it ranges from $15 to $20, just depends on where you go. $15 or $14.96 in my case is at Walmart. $19.99 would be like Target. But, um, for the price that you're paying, it's actually a good size dino. Now, from the tip of the tail to the tip of the snout, my tape measure measured in at 16 and 2 third inches. And from the very bottom up to the very top right up here, uh, measured 6 and 3 quarter inches. So, this is not a bad size dino. It's actually a pretty good size for what you're paying. And in addition to that, it actually does a functioning opening jaw. The only complaint I have about that is one, especially when it's standing up, if I just press down, it doesn't come all the way back up, as you can see right there. Not only that, this is a problem I have noticed with other reviews, is when you do open the jaw, in my case, it goes down and to the right, as you can see right there. But from what I said, that's actually a very common problem with this particular 
bigger is that when the jaw comes goes down and does come back up is that the jaw will not realign it's actually off track a little bit in addition to that um i will be honest even though the paint stain on this is bland um to me it does look eye-catching i'll be honest to me it does get my attention and considering there's really not too many jurassic park t-rexes released nowadays uh this one actually does look pretty good now it's not small by any means but compared to like some of the other jurassic park t-rexes especially if you want to get technical the one from 93 the electronic one this is small compared to that but compared to the other ones this is actually not a bad size this is one of only a couple of t-rexes i know that are released from the jurassic world line but if you want me to be my overall thoughts about this one it is simply this if you like the t-rex you like jurassic park go out go get this it is for its size it's well worth the money but just make note that the paint scheme on it is rather bland. I would I would have liked to see some more paint apps on it. Limited articulation. And the fact that the jaw is offline, just a off track just a little bit. Other than that, this makes for a very nice little display piece. So if you're a fan of Jurassic Park, do go pick this up. It is actually rather nice. But that'll wrap up my review for the Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.